to surprise another special person, a woman called Suzanne, who's going above and beyond to offer support to families around the world. She really is, and here are her friends and family to explain why she deserves a one big thank you. I think Suzanne's deserving of a one big thank you because she makes such a huge difference to the lives of so many. My mental health and my son's mental health is better because of what she's done. Suzanne founded her charity, Parent in Mental Health, following her daughter's mental health struggles. She realised there was very little help available for parents whose children were desperate or even suicidal. She wanted to make sure other parents found the support she'd lacked. You just feel so isolated, the stigma of it, you hide it. And in parenting mental health, people are saying, I feel like that too, and you realise you're not alone. The group started in 2016 a small online community where parents could connect with others experiencing similar situations. It's a lifeline for people. It, it gives them security. It gives them hope. It gives them practical answers and support. The group now has 25,000 members all over the world, and they also offer online training courses and events. Suzanne gives up virtually all her time supporting the community and trying to drive change. She's so compassionate and she's a woman that you'd aspire to be like. Well, we thought Suzanne deserved a one big thank you. So we wanted to get her something we know that she would treasure forever. This is Iron House in Birmingham, an art gallery run by Suzanne's husband, Ross. Ross is in on our surprise, and he's told Suzanne that the gallery is being filmed for the local news. She thinks it's a report about budding artists. And Ross has asked her if she'll unveil a secret painting as part of it. What she doesn't know is that this artwork is being created from notes and pictures sent in by members of a parenting mental health group from across the world. Presenting our fake piece is BBC reporter Trisha Dudu. What's going to happen is I'm going to interview husband Ross and then he's going to call her over to unveil this very special artwork. Here we go. So Ross, Suzanne thinks we are here to talk about a new piece of artwork, but we're actually talking about her. How are you feeling about the amount of people that she's helped? The numbers are incredible and they double every year. How do you think she's going to react? Uh, there will be tears, I'm sure, but I think she'll be uh, very humbled that people have recognised what she's doing. So, shall we get her to unveil it? Let's do that. And with everything in place, Ross brings Suzanne over to meet Trish and unveil the picture. <laughs> hey, oh. Nice to meet you. So we have Suzanne here, we've got a piece of artwork we'd like you to unveil. Suzanne has no idea what's Go. behind the cloth. But takes her only moments to realise that this painting is really for her and that her husband has helped to make this happen. So this isn't just a piece of artwork, this is for you. And we're not from the local news, we're here from the one show to say a one <laughs> big thank you for the amazing work that you do, Suzanne. I have no words, I'm really sorry. I am, um, yeah, I'm completely blown away by that. <laughs> thank you, everybody. Over 100 people that Suzanne's helped contributed to the picture. Well, that's not the only surprise that we've got for you, <laughs> Suzanne. <laughs> Come this way. <laughs> Outside, the group members have gathered to thank her. <laughs> Typically of Suzanne, she wants the praise to go to others. Amazing. They're all absolutely amazing. These are our parents' mental health heroes. Suzanne, there's a few more people that want to say thank you. Take a look at this. Suzanne, it's Alex here from The One Show. We were really moved when we heard about the work you do to support parents. The group you founded started with five members and has grown to almost 25,000 in just a few years, which shows just how much it's needed. Here's some of the many people who wanted to say their own thanks. You are one inspirational lady and I am proud and honoured to be your friend. 
Suzanne, thank you for the work that you do. You create spaces where people don't have to feel alone and isolated anymore. You did more than set up a support group. You, you set up a family. We are a family. I, I'm just knocked out by how powerful the work that you do is. And I'm just so proud. I'm just so proud of you. Corinne in Canada wanted to express her gratitude. I will be grateful for you for the rest of my life for what you've done to help me help my son. And he is now blossoming. And all the way from Australia, Jessica had this message. Your ability to help each and every one of us feel supported, no matter where we live, is really amazing. And broadcaster and mental health advocate, Stacey Dooley, had this to say. The work that you do is completely incredible and massively important. Sending love to the parents that, that you work with. Um, all the very best. Take care. <laughs> just completely overwhelmed. I don't think I've got the words. I'm so touched. I'm so honoured to be a part of your world and your life. And yeah, wherever your path goes next, then expect me to be a part of it. So yeah, thank you all so much for this. <laughs>